how's it? Ingus. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii channel. Dude. Yes. <laughs> I have several different channels and this one, you know, uh oh. Sound check. Well, let's see, I trying to get in the mode of happier times. I gotta learn a chord. Democracy doesn't mean Democrat. The Republic doesn't mean Republican. The Republicans and Democrats are parties, parties, political parties. They have nothing to do with the Constitution. That is true. <laughs> Those are political parties. Make them smaller. <laughs> oh. Yes, uh, there's things happening today. Um, just had to say that. Uh, geez, I'm, I'm what, all of a sudden I'm mongoosely blank. Mm. Well, this is newspaper. And in newspaper, we talk about what's in the newspaper. I kept it simple like that because I'm doing them early in the morning, eh? You know, I went over to Wamanalo sides. I'm wearing the shirt inside out so you can see Wamanalo. Yes, it's his shirt's inside out. Just for you guys. So, <gasps> like and subscribe. God. I, I, even, even my intern, Rinky Dink, he likes... He's trying to get you to like and subscribe. I don't know where that guy is. <sighs> ah. Hi there. Hi. Yeah. You can just call me Rinky Dink. Everyone else does. I just wanted to say. Like and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And I think I'm supposed to say that. I would say it anyways, you know. You know. I live in Honolulu. Do you know where Honolulu is? It's in the middle of the Pacific. North Pacific. See, I've been learning how to find out. Find out things. Yeah. 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 I'm actually related to that guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He won't admit it, though. But go ahead, like and subscribe. We got all kinds of fun stuff later for you. Some stuff. Gotta go now. Oh, he's there. Okay. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, I have to get some bananas and donuts. Mm. <laughs> Anyhow, I was over at the Wamanalo side, and my sister's all about the kind of conspiracy theories. And I say that word because I might divulge uh, some of that stuff because, I, like, for example, um, she's uh, totally uh, convinced on certain things, okay? Now, some of them, I think, have elements of truth, and some of them is, like, gone f too far on some of these things. So it's, like, not true or unsupported, even though it like, looks really supported. But it kind of like isn't in my view and so we were going back and forth and discussing this like you know devil's advocate and uh and uh it was interesting so one example is the the word conspiracy theory right that's like the term now a theory is just a theory like science i i was into science before definitely science so a theory is like a hypothesis i think the things i saw a cat and it was black my theory is all cats are black, but I haven't seen cats of another color. It's just my theory that all cats are black. I might see 20 cats in my lifetime, and all of them happen to be black. 
Therefore, it, it supports my theory that all cats are black, even though the theory is wrong. Okay. On the other hand, you know, you know, you get it. Some the theory, the hypothesis can be supported, and a lot of these things like evolution, uh, it's a theory. It has a lot of support, like the fossil record and stuff like that. But the thing is, it's still a theory. It's not a fact. You know, the fossil record, that's a that's a trilobite fossil. That's a fact. But evolution is a theory and it can be supported by facts. <laughs> so it has a lot of facts to support it, but it's still a theory that supports. And theories change with science. If you like science, Anyways, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent, but conspiracy theory. So, is it does it? What are the facts? Okay, does it, it has real facts? And conspiracy is stupid because it had you know uh, three or more people. I don't know five or more people. I think in one state, five. Let's say five. Five or more because it's a law in one state. Five or more people with the same plan, the same scheme. <laughs> Got plan. <laughs> It's a conspiracy because it's a word and it has a definition but you put them together and uh you know do the aliens exist did the roswell crafts have an actual alien did the government capture the alien and actually have the alien die because it, it's crashed and then have a plane you know are they keeping it secret away from the people because you can't handle the truth you know, that's a conspiracy by the government to not release information. So, but then it gets convoluted and there's more and more and more. Now they're throwing this word around like conspiracy. And it's like, ew, it's a bad word. So my sister's um, convinced to the T that it was in the conspiracy theory is invented by the CIA. The word is invented by the CIA. So when people use that word, they look crazy. Therefore, uh, debunking their their credibility. Well, now I'm not gonna have time for the news. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Well, this is newspaper, so let's look at the, the newspaper. Now, today in the newspaper, the guy Biden sworn in with Kamala Harris, right? So, da da da, over here in Hawaii. Democracy has prevailed. It has prevailed. So now for thumbnail. Oh. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what face to put on my thumbnails no more. It's all confusing. So that's prevailed, you know. They, you know, they had the big riot thing two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Was it already two weeks ago? Oh my god, it was two weeks ago. And um, yeah, now they're doing this thing. I mean, there's like flags and all that. Oh boy, they're they're really going down with trying to catch who's. I mean, they're talking big time. Those guys. Even Naked Buffalo, there's a QAnon, shame on, or whatever. <laughs> I thought they were like kind of innocuous, just dingbats. Like, yeah, beer party! Yeah. You know, but no. <laughs> they're like all conspiracy. I mean, they were. So the conspiracy there would be uh, the, the former President Trump told them, conspired before with, you know, allies, you know, kind of extended out and accumulated these groups and told them to go to DC and told them to march on the Capitol and you got supporting evidence with that speech oh my god back in the day back in the day opening up a new vista it was a downtown street connecting Hotel Street and King Street South Street and Capitol Line Street advertisers is scheduled to open ceremony they were Mayor Nancy Wilson back in 1947 <laughs> that's the old um that's the, that's the old advertiser building <laughs> the star bulletin Honolulu advertiser now it's one paper <laughs> play monopoly 
Um, yeah. Uh, Though that intersection, if you drive it now, it's like the most confusing. What the hell? <laughs> because it was made in 1947. It goes over here, it goes over here, it goes over here. This <laughs> is the street light. You go like, <laughs> dang, <laughs> street light turns green. It's like, am I supposed to go? I don't know. Over in Seattle, yes. Uh, beware 50 states. Uh, yeah, it happened in Portland and uh, Portland, Oregon, rather. Uh, the, the Democratic Party headquarters was broken into and it wasn't Nixon this time it was the protesters and they do that little anarchy symbol um, and broke windows and so they were all up on hey yeah man in the other country is sharing its virus Biden is on a fractured road Kamala Harris is wearing it she looks because she looks like she knows what she's doing yeah I have confidence in her now we got the poet. Who the heck was this chick? She goes on and it's like, what the heck? I, I flipped, I was flipping the channels. And all of a sudden she's like, and then she's like talking like, I don't know, what was the guy in the, oh my gosh. Anyway, she had the poem. She was, she was, she was rapping, I didn't know. At first I'm like, that's not Kamala Harris. What's she doing there? Maybe it's her daughter. I'm thinking like that. She's, we success in the country of time. We're a skinny black girl, sent it from slaves, raised in a single mother can dream and become president only to find herself deciding for one. And, and she was kind of rhythm, like, I don't know. But she's like the, <clears throat> the poet of the um, nation, I suppose. She's not actually rebuking racism. Because we're supposed to rebuke on racism. The poet used to be stuff like Walt Whitman. <laughs> Let me tell you, here's my buddy Thoreau. We'll tell you about Walden Pond. Also nonviolent. Nonviolent objection. And this was also a little disturbing. This is like cleaning up the mess on aisle three. Trump gave a uh, salutary speech. It wasn't really... Um, most presidents give a big speech at the end of their presidency, which is very profound. You get the industrial military complex from, you know, uh, when President Eisenhower stepped down. You get all kinds of stuff from uh, going from Abraham Lincoln to George Washington, just humongously important. And here's Trump. Bye, everybody. It's been fun. I don't know. It's been an honor. Love you guys. <laughs> kind of just rambled a bit like it wasn't all that coherent to me like what are you talking about I'm not sure but then at one point he's like we'll be back we'll continue on we'll be back in some form or another some form or another what the <laughs> that's what it's like got surreal like what what what, what form are you coming back in? You know, I, I, I like horror movies and science fiction. So that could be anything. Some form or another. Maybe it meant he never had a form in the first place. Next time when we come back, we're going to have some type of form. We're not going to be a amorphous blob. I don't know. I don't know. How would I know? All I know is what I read in the newspaper. So don't go. Thank God for football. <laughs> football season's end winding up in one else. And over here at the state capitol. That's right. Here at the state capitol we have um a bunch of flags stuck in the lawn. And <laughs> And the legislator started without <laughs> the usual revelry. <laughs> Basically, nothing happened except, well, back to work. And here we go. So much for. Back in the night. Nah, I can't find it right. It's mentally connected to back in the day. It's Big Q. Big Q is what it is. Big Q. Big Q. Big Q. Big Q. Big Q says, How are you feeling? about the new President Biden, Vice President Harris administration. And 
11% above average but tempering hopes. 10% below average, many doubts about progress. 29% bad, wrong team in charge. 29, that's like 30%. 50% great, high hopes to move US forward. I'm hoping to be there. But then there's 30% bad, wrong. Wow. That's probably why uh, tempering hopes and doubt about progress with the others. Anyway. Wow. This is, you know, as far as the... Because I think, you know, Democratic parties, they're supposed to have their platform. You know, what their platform stands for. And what their platform stands for now is sort of stereotypical. But <clears throat> you can't just... You know, one thing about unifying and being bipartisan, working together, she is, um, is to basically not to be so, what do you call, stereotype about the political parties. You know, it could be, you know, they could go back and forth with a certain issue, but say like abortion, abortion, big issue highly divisive now if one side is pro-abortion because they saw more people on pro-abortion you know what i'm saying they're out for votes or if they are anti-abortion because it definitely clamps them with the religious right so they'll never lose the religious right they got they locked them in as a voting block that kind of stuff is messing up this political party bull. So anyway, else? <coughs> Continuing on. A political cartoon. I'll have to lean over the mic. Yes, Trump is finally gone. Now what do I do? Exactly, that's how I feel. So that's the master stroke of this guy. Because it was, it was like a, it was like a, propaganda brilliancy it was like branding right he got all that from branding he knows how to promote the brand so that's where his political genius is but then there's like very there's like what the hell's behind that so when you know it's on stage and on public eye where it's like blah, 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 blah. he tweets something he does something totally horrible and it was like that's totally horrible i cannot believe this we've reached new beyond the beyond and then he'll do something else totally horrible and then tweet something that's national all of a sudden breaking news and he's like just a little second ago you what about that thing <clears throat> all right let's get going on so obviously okay Letters to the editor. Sorry, get us along. Without all the Moana stop, fewer would ride the rail. Nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. <laughs> Yogi Berra. Uh, that famous Yogi Berra aphorism is funny because although it sounds true, it actually contradicts itself. Thanks for explaining that. If it were if we ever hear quote nobody rides the rail because it doesn't go anywhere unquote it won't be funny because it would be true if the rail is stopped short of middle street or chinatown fewer people would ride increasing costs further jeopardizing completion completion to ala moana center <laughs> ala moana center where hawaii shops uh, is important because Honolulu's largest transit hub, all the buses go out of there, connects it to all parts of the island. To save on costs, other stations sh could be completed after the line is completed to Ala Moana. These could be stations such as Kalihi, Ivile, Chinatown, because they are close to other stations. When contemplating the cost of doing something, it's just as important to compare it with the cost of not doing it. Stanton Lum, Makiki. I kind of agree with you, but uh, on with the letters. Masks. Uh, get out of the way here. Masks are detrimental to the immune system. 
Shame on Rhodes E. Stevens, the doctor, for saying that, quote, continued mask wearing and social isolation are detrimental to the immune system. <laughs> Cited letter, January 19th. Even a cursory internet search debunks this statement, which is apparently circulating on social media. The statement about mask wearing is <coughs> completely false, according to reporting by Reuters and others. Good sighting. <laughs> Reuters and others. Think about it. Healthcare professionals wear masks much of the day. Are they immunocompromised? With, uh, while I agree with Steven's premise, but we need to rethink three, blah, 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 rethink policies. We are, it crunched up over here. We are nowhere near 50, 90% immunity. This is that John Hopkins School of Public Health co op posts is needed for herd immunity depending on the contagiousness of the pathogen. I think we need this coronavirus. I think we know that this coronavirus and even more contagious variant puts the figure close to 90% than 50%. This shortcoming and the fact that in social interactions, you don't, uh, can't tell if the person is immune or not, necessitates the continuing wearing a mask in the foreseeable future. It's period, just period. A uh, period. Mask period. It's just a uh, mask. Randall where he may a couple llama. Okay. I see the that 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 mm, it's coming out there in the language. That's good, but it got kinda like muddy in there. Alright. Alright. What else are we all miffed about? Well, you may. And your opinions are important to Bongo Snacks. Hawaii! <laughs> I'm gonna make jingles pretty soon. That's what I should do. Use citations, arrests to stop illegal parties. I was disappointed to see that Honolulu police broke up a group of 200 people illegally drinking and partying on the Kaiwi coast, but issued no citations and made no arrests. Why not? This could have been a... This could have been... This could have been a teachable moment. But unfortunately, the lesson learned was that you can gather in large groups. No problem. COVID-19 numbers are rising, yet we continue to allow large gatherings with no consequences other than to the people who then get F infected. I wrote the police chief about this concern in November, but never received a response. I just signed the letter H. <laughs> the police chief. <laughs> Trash it. There have been a number of news items about the lack of enforcement since then, so why can't we get a handle on this? If we continue to allow these gatherings, Will we never get COVID-19 under control? HPD must step up by enforcing, inciting, and arresting. Helen Gibson on Hawaii Kai. Okay, you didn't make the greatest Hannibal Lecter voice on, well, that was me, that's, that's my bad. All right, I hope this is all freaking out. Oh gosh, gosh, gosh. Delving into the dark world of people's ideas. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah. Consider Trump a clear and present danger. Regardless of how the U.S. Senate deals with the Trump impeachment trial, the Biden administration should strip Donald Trump of his post-presidency perks 
especially his security clearances. As the media and social media gave him much of his power, so now ignore the loser and make him irrelevant. Robert Dory Kahala. <laughs> well, that's really, that's really fascinating. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree with some of the things, but it's, 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 I'm uh, trying to be a little, little biased here. I mean, unbiased. This is like not so much about content, but how you can really get out what you're saying. Ready for action. Yeah, I bet you are. <clears throat> I need a weapon. No, you don't. <clears throat> I need a weapon. <clears throat> Stop it. <clears throat> I need a weapon. No, you don't. Let's move. <laughs> I would say the T-Rex toenail award goes to... I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to go with masks aren't detrimental to the immune system because... Maybe my calm link is broken. Yep. Oof, I need a weapon. It's just a mask. And it's written. So you're gonna see the honor of the toenail, T-Rex toenail, but you obviously don't get it because it's a virtual award. You you do receive the, enemy is on the, move. the joy of being recognized as yes, my my editorial made it. Oh, so wonderful. So, anyways, there's. There's more on, gonna be more on, uh, 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 I'm gonna stick up maybe the, the spooky house next door, just the peak of the video. <laughs> There's a spooky house next door. <laughs> oh my God. So anyways. Trooper standing by. Take it easy. Hang loose. Have a wonderful Thursday. And things get better and better. Aloha.